Hello and welcome. Shortcut 180601 and also 02 and every future version has the feature to reverse video. So how to reverse video? You simply use Shortcut. It's free to download. There's no watermark. It's a video editor. If you don't know how to get it, I have a video. If you don't know how to use it, I have a video. But I'm going to show you how to reverse videos with Shortcut, all right? So once you have Shortcut running, you just uh, get your file, drag it into Shortcut. You get it into the timeline, drag it into the timeline. And then let's zoom in. And uh, here we go. Let's just split a little part. And then uh, let's duplicate this. Control C, Control V. We're going to delete these spaces. And now we want this part to be reverse. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to copy it again. So what the girl and the pony are supposed to do, they're going to walk towards us. Walk backwards, walk towards us, and continue. Just as an example. All right. So, the feature how to uh, make this clip reverse is we go to properties. Okay. And in properties, we have this button down here. Can we actually, oh, we can hide the toolbar. So now we can see this button better. Click it and press reverse. And what it does, it will re-encode the video. You cannot reverse video in the editor live. You have to re-encode the video. So that's a shame, but that's how it is. So we're going to pick the default and just press OK. And here's the file name, girl and a pony reversed. Yeah, let's just save it. As you can see, job starts over here and you have to wait until this finishes. Here we have a file and if we look at it, we will notice it is actually four seconds long, but this clip is only one second long. So what this did, it, it re-encoded the whole video in reverse. The original was four seconds long and this one is also four seconds long. Here we are. So that's a shame. So what to do, how to work around this problem? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Save as Project. Just press Save. We're going to call it a Pre-Rev, just for kicks. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Save as Rev only. Now we're going to remove everything that we don't want reversed. Remove all the space, and now we're going to have to just encode this. Let's go to uh, View, Toolbar, press Export, and just Export File. And here it is, Rev only, let's press save. Sure. And this is quite quick, it's just one second after all. So now let's just close Shotcut and start it again. We're gonna drag the Rev only video in here, drag it to the timeline. Now we're gonna do the whole thing again. We're gonna go to Properties, we're gonna click this and pick Reverse. And again, press OK and press save. Now this will reverse only the part that we want reversed. All right, we're done. So let's close shortcut again and restart it. And we're going to drag in the pre-rev file into the source view to load the project. We're going to delete this by clicking it and then pressing the delete key on the keyboard. And now we're going to drag in the reversed rev only clip in here, drag it to the timeline, drag it over here in the gap. There's a little bit, it's a bit more, that's really strange. So let's just rearrange it all. And if we play this back, you can see, backwards, forward. So that worked, except for it has like one white frame, which is weird. But whatever, we're just gonna cut it off. Just gonna use the arrow keys, one to the right, press S, right click, remove. All right, everything is fixed. Backwards and back. And that is it. Let's export the whole project. All done. Wait for it to finish and check it out. Forward, forward, backward, backward, back, forward, forward, and done. Forward, 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 backward, backward, forward, 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 and done. 
And you can also delete additional an additional keyframe at both ends to uh, prevent one frame to be over long. Because uh, you can see it hang for a second at the points where it reverses time. So that is it. I hope this is useful. This is how you can reverse video. Make sure you have the latest shortcut. No need to use uh, command line tools anymore. Unfortunately, you cannot do it while editing. You have to export them and then reverse them and then put them back into a project. But at least it works in the user interface. So I hope this is useful. Please subscribe to support this channel and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!